the most dangerous districts in Manila City. So that's why, guys, we are right now in Recta District to explore is it really dangerous or not. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Let's go for it. This area has specific uh, design of the whole Manila. It's very different. What is this? Hello? Yes. What is this? Any kind of documents. Documents? Yes. Uh, Some of them can prepare for you documents. Laser store. I'm trying to hide this camera just in case to show you all height and perspective of this Recto district. I hope you see everything. Here also some illegal documents area so they can prepare for you diploma, transcript, some driving license as well. Like, uh, bingo games? Yeah, bingo. You can like win or lose. By the way guys, it's also legal here to play bingo. There are so many people, especially elder people who choose to play bingo in order to get money. What is this? Nightclub? Bar, but now it's what time? Right now it's 11 a.m. 11 a.m. But inside it's very dark. Some English movie, English movie. Do you have English subtitles? Uh, a boyo. Above, above, above shadows. Above shadows. Okay. Mm. This is this one. There to be seen. Hello. Uh, what time? Above shadows. Here, 10:20. 2:20. And six. 6:10. <laughs> 10, yeah. Okay. Okay. One Filipino movie. It's Filipino. Katya, Katya. Ah, what is? Okay, we walk. Maybe can, come. Where's can cinema? No airport inside. Huh? No airport inside. Can we see? No, we cannot see. Okay, okay thank maybe you. we will come back. What she said? She said that no air conditioner inside. Maybe. I miss the word. Yeah, maybe have air condition, oh. or maybe no. I don't know. I, I, I was focusing to another thing. That's why I missed the word. Almost everywhere. What is this? Certificate of appearance. Certificate of completion. Maybe here you just print. No need to study yeah? at university or college. Just get your diploma. We are just kidding. Yeah? We know that all of these are illegal. So maybe during some kind of research, they can even find that it's not like legal. Diplomas, everything. Huge vector area. So we usually walk by this vector district when we cross to another line, which is called Doretta Joe's. So now we are heading to Doretta Joe's. So while we are going there, so we want to show this area why locals think that this is not very safe for tourists and for locals. So in any case, he is holding his bag just in front of him and the same like this and from the bottom also holding because some people can uh, scratch with knife your bottom of your bag so and can uh, thief your things. So that's why you should be very very careful in this district. But I don't see that people 
people are just pushing us and doing something with us. Not so much dangerous. Okay. But we will have spare time to walk around. Let's see. It feels like this district this way is uh, safer. Let's turn to right side. Right or left? Okay, okay. Left, then after we go back to right side. The seat. I think we can just look a little bit, like uh, maybe quality, yeah? show them quality. No, they have different clothes, it's like mixed, it's second hand. No, I know. That's why it's only 100 for three piece. They have everything, starting from children clothes to adults, men and women clothes.
Yeah, maybe we, we no, need no, no, try no, something. Oh, and we will come you. back. How much? Maybe. How much? Yeah. Huh? How much? Only 200 pesos. 200. 20? 200 pesos. 200 pesos. How many minutes? 30 minutes. 30? Yes. Okay, okay. I will, uh, I will be expected and maybe you will be right back or not. Uh, we are not sure that we ride back. Uh, okay. okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. So what do you think, guys? Is it um, good, like, hygienic to make massages outside of this noisy district? I don't know. It feels like it's not good to make massage here. Look, cellar. Oh, Hello. This cat is cellar. How much is this one? This one should be silver. Yeah. Silver. This one? This cat is yeah. a seller? Yeah. No. <laughs> it looks like seller. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How much? The silver, yeah? Silver? This one only has 650. 650. Oh. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, cat. <laughs> 150. Yeah, massage like this. Oh, already making massage. Hello. Massage How is it good? I can do for you, ma'am. Body pain, massage, ma delay. Oh, yeah. He can recover many How things. How much? Uh, 150 for half body. Uh, for half body. Yeah. Half body. Yeah. Ah. Body. 30 minutes. Uh, yes, more or less 30 minutes. Or yeah. less. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. People look very friendly. <laughs> and they're so talkative. I like the way how they speak in English. They speak like fluent. buy like very cheap for Second your things. house bag chair yeah everything utilities and what we have here bags like this it's not Gucci <laughs> but it feels like with good quality if they are preserving How until today I, think they, I don't they know how much they everything. cost, but they should be not very expensive. It should be very, very, very cheap. Yeah, they, they, have, have. they have everything. Mirror, Mirror bicycle. Look. They are all second use, yeah. So. For fishing. Yeah. Full of people. So many people inside. Antique Close things. High. Oh, and also it's like old. Uh, radio, yeah. radio player, DVD stereo maybe. player, stereo. Ah, uh, they 
have Chanel. <laughs> Chanel bag. Yeah, Do you remember like this? Yeah. Boys. Let's go. So in Manila, there are everything for second, middle class people and lower class people for very cheap price. So even in this recta area, there are also food, there are food stores so they can buy. Everything is so cheap. That's why I guess here many homeless people. So we are planning to go to another way. See how homeless people stay and live in this Vexo district. And of course here McDonald's. Where's McDonald's? Ah yeah. Many cars. Yeah, it's usually traffic. When we are crossing. Yeah, now it's red. Red for oh, us. Waiting for us. Okay, now we can go. Be careful. Let's go. Working inside. 
I mean this type of store so they can get burger, cheeseburger, only 40, 50 pesos. It's around, yeah, one dollar. That's why it happens many times, that natural disasters. And kids are just walking outside in this dirty ground, playing, because no chance. They, some of them even came to Manila to, looking, uh, to look for a new job, to get a high salary job compared to just countryside. And um, they have dreams, but unfortunately, because of their conditions, life conditions, uh, they are staying outside like this. So maybe that's why locals think that uh, Recto is not safe to walk. But as far as we are here already many times, uh, we are in Manila 16 days and all the 16 days when we go to the center, we close this Recto and just no one touches our things. Yeah. But today, just today for this video, we are about to show you, you the real Recto. Yeah, you need just be careful. But anytime, yeah, we are just big, we are always cautious. Guys, now Denise and I, we want to make kind of experiment to check if locals are, um, how to say, they are honest so that they can return my ballot. So I'm going to intentionally to drop my ballot on the ground and let's check if locals who live in Recto, they will return my ballot or not. To be honest, there is nothing inside. This one is already old ballot and Dennis promised me to buy a new one. Okay, let's check. Oh, sorry. That there is no money and he just throw it he didn't even recognize to give it be give it me back okay that's why guys be careful Why? 
every time before your trip, before you're traveling, it's better to search about local life, about local districts and areas. So that we are doing. Um, this is our almost 10 times of visiting Recto, and I've never had some kind of pushings and harassments from locals. I just made an experiment with my valet, and I thought it was an idea that here are also very honest people. Yeah, but homeless people, they might be um, without money and they can make some not um, good acts. But anyways, it depends on you, as I said, be cautious every time. So they say we are doing holding our bags in front of us all the time. I really hope that you guys already subscribed to my channel and already click the like button. And don't forget to write down comments down below. I'm really looking for your comments. If you're a Filipino, leave some ideas what you want to see from the Philippines uh, during our next visit. So stay tuned for stay tuned for new vlogs from different parts of the world. And take care, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget click the like button, subscribe and leave your comments and watch other videos from this playlist. Take care all. See you soon. Goodbye.